would be that earth is leveled with them they are buried into down into the earth now to sawwa bihum al ard wala yaktumun allah hadisa and they will not be able to conceal anything to hide anything from allah subhanahu wa taala any word ya ayuhal ladina amanu la taqrabu salata wa antum sukara any that instruction oh you who believe don't go near prayer and according to some mufassirin prayer places also this is mosque the place for prayers don't go near these mosques in what condition it is coming later and don't go near the near the prayer itself wantum sukara when you are intoxicated now this is the second commandment regarding the use of liquor the first was in surah al baqarah يسألون عن الخبر والميسر قل فيهما اسم كبير ومنافع للناس واسمهما أكبر من نفعهما. There is some benefit also in this liquor, but you know the sin is greater. The evil in it is greater than the benefit that it has. Now that was the only instruction given. No final injunction that it is haram. The second comes here. When you have taken liquor and you are intoxicated. Don't go near the prayer or the prayer place. Hatta taalamu ma taqulun. Till such time that you come to your back to your senses and you know what you are saying. Maybe if you are intoxicated, you stand to pray and you are saying something else because you don't understand what you are saying. You are not in your senses. So when that you know intoxication is gone and you know now know what you are saying, then go to the prayer. Wala junubun, junuban. and also when you are unclean due to the seminal discharge whether that discharge is due to actual intercourse or any nightfall anything else if there is a discharge of seminal fluid then you can't go near the salah and nor the the masjid nor the mosque you can't enter it you can't sit if you are in that unclean condition illa abri sabilin except if you are traveler if you have only to pass through the mosque you don't want to sit here that is permissible you have to go from this side to that side you can pass in the same way if you are a traveler and you don't find water what to do that is given hatta taghtasilu until that time that you can wash your whole body ghusl this is necessary wa in kuntum marda but there are exceptions there are concessions but if you are ill sick it is dangerous to take a bath how ala safarin or you are on a travel you are on a journey you don't find water how ja adab ahadu minkum min al ghayb or someone from you has come after answering the call of the nature how la masdumun nisa or you have had sexual contact with your wives falan tajidu man and if then in these conditions if you don't find water water is not available fatayammamu saidan tayyiban so now seek and find clean earth clean earth fam sahubu bi wujuhikum wa aydiyakum aydikum and wipe with that earth your faces and your hands inna allah kana afuwan ghafura verily allah subhanahu wa taala is forgiving and benign now this is the concession that allah subhanahu wa taala has given in place of wudu also ablution in place of ghusl bath also both conditions whether the unclean condition is minor or major minor conditions are those in which you need wudu ablution major condition is that in which you need a bath total bath but in both these conditions if water is not available or you are sick it's not advisable to take a bath then tayammum would suffice with clean earth you wash 
or you, you know, just wipe your face and hands. Now this first part of this surah, 43 ayat, in which there was a positive discourse towards Muslims. What to do? How to organize yourself? How to reform your society? How to bring sex discipline into your society? How to bring justice? How to protect the rights of women? How to protect the rights of orphans? All these things, different aspects of social life and so many other things also, they have been discussed here. Now a few ayat, these are addressed to the former Muslim Ummah, the Ahlul Kitab, the people of the book. Alam tara ilal ladina wutu nasibam minal kitab. We can go over these ayat hastily because these things have been discussed in detail in Surah Al-Baqarah. All these things. It's a very rapid repetition. Alam tara ilal ladina wutu nasibam minal kitab. Have you not considered the case of those who were given a portion of the book? The book was complete. A portion of it was Torah. A portion of it was Injil. And now the total book has come in the form of Quran. So actually the book, a part of it was given to them. Alam They are purchasing falsehood. They are themselves purchasing falsehood for them. And they want that you should also go away and astray from the right path. If we are condemned, you should also be condemned. If we are doomed, let yourself be doomed also. And O oh Muslims, Allah very well knows your enemies. They are your enemies. They want to take you astray from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are bent upon misleading you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient as a protector, is sufficient as a helper. Don't fear them. They will be doing their maximum. They will do their utmost to harm you, but they will not be able to harm you because Allah is your protector. From among these people who have become Jews are those who pervert words out of their context. And they say, we have listened and we have disobeyed. Actually, they, they imitate it as if they are saying, but they used to say, Oh Muhammad, we have listened and we, we just reject it. And listen, and you may not be made to listen. And they call Laina. But they twist their tongues, you know. Raina. Raina means, oh, our herdsman. And Raina means, look to us. Give us concessions. Yeah, as if we say, pardon me. Please say it again. So this is the, you know, word. Social word. But they used to twist the tongue and say, Raina. Vatanan fiddeen. And slandering in religion. Walawannahum kalu samirna watana. Had they said, Samirina wa ta'ana, we have listened and we obey, we accept. Wasma. And had they said, listen please. Listen, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, please listen to me also. Wanzurna. And look to us, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Regard us also. Kana khair allahum. This would have been much better for them. Walakin la'anahum allahu bi kufrain. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cursed them due to their unbelief. Because they have denied the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now they are the accursed ones. They have been cursed. وَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا And they are not going to believe except only a very few among them. 